Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first video, hi, I'm Elena, and this is The Organized Money, where we talk about planning life and managing money. In today's video, we are going to be rebuilding my month ahead account. I use my month ahead account in order to pay all of my bills for the month ahead, meaning that I'm always using last month's money to pay this month's bills. Well, currently, we are not using last month's money because I had some home repairs that we needed to complete which basically depleted my month ahead account so we have about four hundred and seventy five dollars in my month ahead account right now but I needed to be much much more in order to pay all of my bills for an entire month so I'm going to be talking through my system and what I am going to be doing in order to rebuild that account and since I'm basically starting over I thought it would be great to bring you all along in case you wanted to build a system like this one so let's first talk about my cash envelopes. So I use cash envelopes. This is my spending cash envelope. It currently doesn't have any money in it, but I do have four categories in here. My first category is food, and this includes groceries and eating out. Then I have beauty, which I will use for my nails and for my hair and any beauty products that I need to purchase. Also gas for the car or any additional travel we need to do and shopping. So these are the four categories that I will use in my black cash envelope. And then in my brown cash envelope, I use this one for savings. So at the end of the week, whatever money I have left over in this cash envelope, I will move to my brown cash envelope for savings. So with this one, it is just divided up by denominations. So I have my 20s, which I don't have any 20s in here yet, but I do have some 10s. I have $50 in 10s in here. We also have $40 in fives and $28 in ones. Let me zoom y'all in, but my ones envelope is pretty thick. So I'm going to switch out this one for some larger bills just so I can bring this down some. So these are the two cash envelopes that I have been using so far in order to manage my system. But today we're going to add another cash envelope and this one's going to be for my bills as we are building my month ahead account so we're going to be using this one for bills this one for spending and this one for saving so let's talk through my very first step the first thing that you need to do if you are building this system your cash system is figure out how much you need in order to save for the month i'm going to move the cash that I took out the account and my coins because we talk about the coins I'm going to bring that up later but the first thing that you need to do is figure out how much you need so this is where your budget comes in I'm going to flip to my monthly budget and I'm trying to see how much I need for an entire month let's look at the calendar and then I'm going to write down every bill I have and the total for each bill the first thing that I have to pay is my mortgage. My mortgage is $1,400. Car note is $540. Home alarm is $60. My tax bill is $300. Life insurance is $184. I have one credit bill that is $500. My utilities are about $145. And then we're gonna add in subscriptions for $200. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do, let me zoom you all in, is divide each one of these numbers by four. I am trying to see how much I need to be putting in these envelopes every single week, every single time I get paid in order to get this amount for an entire month. Now, this does not mean that I'm going to be able to save all of this in one month, but I do like to see how much I would need per week in order to hit this amount so we're gonna do divided by four my mortgage divided by four is 350 per week my monthly total is three thousand three hundred and twenty nine dollars and this is about $833 per week. 
So this is just my bills. It is not including my variable expenses, things like the food, the shopping, and all of those things that I am currently spending in cash. I am not including that. I am just looking at my core bills currently and using that in order to stuff my cash envelopes for the week. So normally what would happen is I would take $833 every single week and be putting it aside for the very next month. But currently I am not a month ahead. So I cannot do $833 because I still have to be able to pay the bills that are currently due. So what I will do instead is look at the current week, see what bills are due, pay those bills, and then put some money aside for next month. So I will be saving little by little for these things until I can reach up to this number, until I get to $3,000. So when I get $3,000 in my cash envelopes, then I will be one month ahead, and then I can move the money from my cash envelopes into my one month ahead account and start paying my bills a month ahead. But until then, I have to save up a little by little until I reach this number. So now that we know how much we need, I know that I'm not able to save this entire amount. I'm not able to do $833 every single week just yet because I'm currently behind and I still need to pay bills. So what I'm going to do is look and see how much I can save per week until we get to this 3000 number. We are looking at the week of the 22nd, which I do have an energy bill due. I have an energy bill due this week. I don't have any other bills due this week. So this week I am going to pay myself $892.18. That is what I normally would pay myself, but I'm going to do $143 for bills. I am going to put in my variable expenses because this is the only bill that I have to pay. So $892.18 minus $143 is $749.18. So this is the balance that I have to work with since I don't have any other bills that are due this week. Now I'm going to take out, which I already did, I took out $500. That's this cash here that I have set aside. The 500 is going to be what I'm going to stuff for this week in bills. And then the balance, which is $249.18, is going to be in my spending envelope. So, food, $150 this week. Beauty at $50. And we'll do gas at $40. And that'll leave us with a balance of $9.18, which we will keep in the account. So add all of that up, that adds up to $749.18, and then that makes this zero. Now that this is set up, I know how much I'm going to pay this bill. I know how much I have left over. So now we are going to set up the cash, cash envelope and we're going to set up all of the categories that I just wrote down. So all of these categories are going to be written here and we're going to stuff what we can. Now, like I said, we're not gonna be able to do them all, but I can do at least my mortgage, start the mortgage envelope, and then possibly the car note. We'll see how far we get. So I'm gonna have to add in more dividers, which I have some here.
So I'm gonna add in an additional one that's not on this list, but I just thought about it, and it is my credit card. So sometimes I will use my credit cards because I won't have cash on me, and then I will put the cash aside so that I could pay off the credit card. So I'm going to use this one for my credit card. Now that we have that set aside, I am going to add in Let's see, I need to add in $350 to do this week for my mortgage. So one, two, three, 20, 40, and then 50. And let's see what we have left. 20, 40, 60. 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So I'm gonna switch out some of these tens for some fives so that I can actually do $135, which is the car note. I can actually do that one as well. So I need to switch out some of the bills in this envelope anyway. So we're gonna take out some of these fives. So that's two. Twenty. I'm gonna put that there. And so there's twenty dollars left in fives, and then we are going to add this back in here. So we've started saving for my mortgage and my car note to get one month ahead on these two bills, which is the best. Thing for me to do because these two are my highest and if I get to 1400 here and 500 here then I am basically halfway there so that is going to be it for that stuffing and then the third cash envelope that I need to do is for my spending and so I do have some ones here I'm gonna add in more money later on this week but I am going to just put in the cash that I currently have into my food and my beauty envelope. I probably won't start using this one until next week because I haven't, I've already done groceries, we've already done all of our um, spending so far for this week. So I shouldn't need anything from here, fingers crossed but we will see how it goes. But when I stuff again next week, then my envelopes will be full. And then when I'm ready to spend again, I will have money in here. And when it comes to my change, this is what I use to save my change. This is a little gold pineapple that I believe I got from Office Depot, but it does carry my change in here. And at, at the end of every single week, I will move my bills to my brown cash envelope, which is my saving cash envelope, and I will put all of my coins in this pineapple. And then when it fills up, I just go and deposit it. So that is it. We have stuffed our bills, even though we're not ready for a month ahead yet, but we are on our way there. We also have a little bit of money in our spending envelope, but I am not planning on doing any spending until next week. So that gives me time to stuff more. And then I also have my savings envelope, which we did switch out some of the bills, so we do have a little bit of cash in here as well. And then at the end of next week, we will be moving whatever we have left over in here to my brown envelope. So thank you so much for joining me on this journey. If you are already doing cash envelopes or about to start your journey, please let me know in the comments below. And if you are interested in any of my cash envelopes in the system that I have set up, make sure that you check out the link in the description box. I do sell these in my Etsy shop. And I will see you all in my next video. Until then, keep organizing your life so you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.